Hey guys, happy Friday night. We're gonna uh, cook some salmon and make some uh, coleslaw. So here we go, what I've got over here. Okay, let's get you over here. See the skillet. See the skillet? I have some extra virgin olive oil and some uh, butter. And I've sliced up some fresh uh, ginger and garlic. I just want to uh, get that in there to infuse the in ginger and garlic into my oil and butter. That's it. That's where we're going to cook our salmon in. Nothing like ginger and garlic. So I've got it on a very low heat. I miss you guys. How are you? And it's going to just give it the flavor of uh, the ginger and garlic. Okay. Alrighty. So we'll just let that happen. It's on very low. Well, I, come on over, we're going to make some coleslaw dressing. Whew. I've had a hectic day today, i tell you that. So just put him down here. And we don't need to cut up anything because I cheated. <laughs> and I bought the coleslaw mix. But we are going to make the slaw from scratch. So... Uh, oh, I'm tired. I can tell you that. I am worn out. Okay. So we're going to start off with a three quarter cup. I've got one on here. Two, two thirds. Three quarters of a cup. I can measure it out. Let me take this ring off. It makes it so clumsy. Okay. It's really smelling good. That ginger, just the ginger and garlic. And I know you all know what ginger root looks like. See, I just cut a piece off and took the skin off and cut it into little rounds. Okay, let's get, I can eyeball. I've been cooking long enough that I can eyeball. Let me grab a spoon. Three quarters of a cup. I've got my recipe right here. Three quarters of a cup of mayo. I really don't need the whole recipe. I'm not going to make that much. I'm just going to make enough for me. Okay. That's about enough right there. Can you see what I'm doing? You should be able to see what I'm doing. Oh boy. Let me just sit out here. All right. Let me put that back on there. Let me check on my, my um, garlic and, and ginger. I don't want it to burn. I just want it to infuse. Okay. Just want it to infuse the oil. Okay. It's going pretty slow like I want it. But I think before watch my hands. Before we finish that I'm going to go ahead and season our salmon. Oh boy. I've had a hectic day. And it's raining heavily here in Milwaukee. It's cool. So let me grab a styrofoam because I don't want to Put the fish on anything I gotta wash, to tell you the truth. I've gotten all the scales off of the fish. I'll let you see the fish. I've got a, it's a little over half a pound piece. 
and I've taken, I've let it sit on paper towels to get most of the water off. So now we're just going to season it. What are we going to do? Got my salt over here. Just take a little salt and sprinkle a little bit. Sprinkles a little salt. Of course, that's plenty. I don't want it over salty. Okay. My towel. And some pepper, of course. I know how I love my pepper. Of course, we got to hit it with a little of that Denny Lewis, just a touch. I tasted this coleslaw in uh, the grocery store, oh my God, I got instant indigestion. But I have a seafood flavor I want to share with you guys. And look at our ginger and garlic, we definitely don't want it to burn. It's just really brown and really flavoring our oil that we're going to cook our fish in. Let me show you this. It's a really good seafood flavoring. It's really delicious on your... I only put it on salmon, really. But it's really good. Try it. We're going to put a little of that on there. really works. That's enough of that. I don't uh, put the lemon juice on until after it's done. Put that down there. And uh, basically that's it. So what I'm going to do, we're going to get over here. And I'm going to turn it over. And just basically Put a little, no, I'm not going to season the uh, skin. It's seasoned well enough, the flesh. So we're going to basically get over here. Let's see what I'm doing here with the skillet. Push my fish over. Put it back over here. You can see how well seasoned the fish is. Okay. We're going to scoop out the garlic and ginger. Scoop it out of there. Try not to take the oil with you, but you want all that out. You don't want that to burn at all. And turn up your heat. Let your skillet get warm enough. See, we didn't let it get too dark. You know, just infuse the oil and all that flavor. All that flavor is now in that in the uh, butter and extra virgin olive oil. And we're gonna start on the skin side. And let that get really crispy. And it'll be mostly cooked. Because I like the middle of my salmon to be rare. There we go. I'm going to discard this. And let that cook. Let take this time while we make our coleslaw dressing. Let's see how that's looking. I'm going to turn it down and let it take its time to crisp up really well. I have missed you guys, but I believe I got everything taken care of as far as that storage problem. Samsung and U.S. Cellular tried their best to make me buy a new phone. I just got through paying for the phone. 
I'm using now. Why would I go pay $1,300 for a new phone? And finally, I got the right assistant at U.S. Cellular, you know, over the phone. And she told me to go to a U.S. Cellular store and ask them to move my storage over to the cloud storage, which was already in the phone. And it worked. So all they were trying to do was get me to buy a new phone. And all the time, Samsung knew, as well as the people up here where I kept going to U.S. Cell, I went to a different one. And they solved the problem. So, hopefully we'll be making lots of videos together now. I've got something special to cook for Sunday meal. I hope you're going to enjoy it. And we'll keep on with this meal now. We got our mayo in here. I got to get my measuring spoons out of here. Now we're going to add some apple cider vinegar. Now that's three quarter cup of mayo. Because I'm telling you, this is a really good coleslaw dressing recipe. And now we're going to add in uh, two tablespoons of uh, apple cider vinegar. Good. That's one. And two. There we go. Get that out of our way. And now we need a tablespoon of maple syrup. That's weird, isn't it? In a, a coleslaw dressing. But it's very good. I've made it before a few times. Let me get that in there. There we go. And you see, you can't see what I'm doing. Let me turn it around so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Let me get this finished. Okay, there you go. Now you can see what I'm doing. And after that, three quarters of a teaspoon of celery seed. Here we are. I'm going to put this in one of my spice bottles. Okay. That would be half and a quarter. Put that there. I'm going to take that off. Ring. There. So we need half and a quarter. There we go. Half. There we go. Now, a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt. Let's go in there and get that. There we go. And last but not least, just a scoop some black pepper. Okay. That's to your taste. There we go. And take the whisk. Turn off anything on your spoon. Whisk, whisk, whisk. I got a little fruit flat bothering me. I'm gonna get them when, when I get done. I got some just for him. Let's see what I'm doing here. Just whisking it together. It's coming together right away, beautifully. And that's it. 
that quick and easy. Voila! And we just can get see these up here. And they won't go everywhere. And that's that. Let me check on our salmon. I love my uh, skin really crispy. Okay. There you go. Let's see what I'm doing here. Uh oh, what happened here? You see what's going on here? My skin didn't act right. I put it back on the skin side and let that crisp up some more. It's not right, it's not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. So let's continue to make our, our coleslaw. I'll get the slaw out of the fridge. I'm telling you, I can eat some coleslaw. I could eat coleslaw every day. I love coleslaw. Get a spoon for that. And I'm putting away some of these ingredients for the dressing. All right, put these back together. Okay. Get off the rain. Here for now. Put this back up here on the way. And this seesaw on the way. Okay. I'm so tired. But we want to do this and get it over with, honey. Alrighty. That way. Sound and all. Now, hmm. I'm trying to think, should I? I just go ahead and just put some stuff in here or what? Do okay. Let's just put some. No, that would be too much dressing. Now I want to make that in this bowl. Get another bowl and put. Uh -huh. This should be more than enough. Just put some slaw in this in this bowl and pour some dressing over it. I know I'm cheating, but I'm tired. I don't care. This is plenty of slaw for me. Okay. All right. There we go. Put 
add some dressing on top. Not overdress it. I like the crunch of the cabbage and carrots. Let's get a fork. Switch sides so you see better. Here. Mix it in there. Might need a little more dressing. Quite a bit of slaw in here. Give me another fork. Get this over with. See if we gonna need some more dressing. And that's all I need for my Friday dinner. Some delicious salmon and delicious coleslaw. Yeah, we need a little more dressing. Yeah. I don't want it overdressed. I don't want it underdressed. Perfect. Every little piece has a little dressing on it. There we go. Mm-hmm. That's the way it's gonna be. Right there. I got barbecue sauce. I just made a new batch of barbecue sauces. And I just had the uh, labels for the cherry sauce did today. So, there we go. Our coleslaw is ready. And our salmon is ready. So, okay. And it's not a big cleanup either. We have the skillet and a few uh, measuring spoons. And let's cut this up. Cut into this. And put some lemon juice. I'm going to plate it first. Let's plate it. And I'll take care of everything in a few minutes. Let's plate this salad. You know I won't eat it all. Here's the noise. All right. Let's get it plated. All right. Oh. There we are. Let's get all that butter sauce on there and ginger. There we go. It's in the sink. Watch it. This to the table. All right, this. Put that right there and turn you around. Here, let me grab a young fork and let you see what we're eating. Let's see what we got here. Okay, let's 
let's go back. I got my barbecue sauce. I got a label. Let me push that out of the way and get back here. And bring my slaw back here. There we go. Now, let's squeeze a little lemon juice on there. There we go. Not a lot. I don't like it too lemony. It'd be too tart there. And we're going to serve ourselves some coleslaw. And that's what I'm having for dinner tonight, guys. Let's try it. salmon mm -mm -mm. it's so juicy I got some of that skin under there Let's get it on here though I don't want to go Let's get it in there oh my god The skin is crunchy. Mm -mm -mm. Let's try them both together. That's so good. Let's get it both together here now. I should have gotten a knife because the skin is so crunchy. Try to let you see a piece of this crunchy skin. It's so, so crunchy. I don't know if you can see it, but it's very crunchy. Now we get some salmon and we get some coleslaw and get it on there together. And let you see how it looks together. See? It's so delicious. Let's try it together. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's so crunchy. And the slaw and the salmon skin. The salmon is so juicy and delicious. Seasoned very well. Mm. Well, mm -hmm. I wish you guys could join me, but I want to thank you guys. I can't, I can't stop chewing. <laughs> it's so good, and I'm starving. See, I don't eat. I, I get up and have a light breakfast. Sometimes I eat a good breakfast now. But most of the time it's just a light breakfast. And that's it until dinner time. And so by dinner time, I'm starving. But I'll tell you what, I'm definitely going to enjoy this. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please continue to watch. I love you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please come back. And God bless you.